Well, how do there, chums? So I'm back inside of the expedition save, and what I'm going to be doing now that I've completed all five phases of the expedition is we're going to be jumping back to phase one, and we're going to be doing the optional milestone. I guess we are. So I could just hit on up the portal from inside of um, you know, my freighter or the anomaly or a station. But I've actually got a portal back at my base. I've also started the growing of all the plants you need to get all of your acid and all that sort of shenanigans. So yeah, this is on this planet here, Robridge Delta. And um, there's the coordinates and things there. But anyway, let's head on over into here. The chances of you finding my base are very slim, to be fair, because there's bases freaking everywhere. Anyway, so we're going back to uh, stations and we want to go to uh, the Toyoma system, which is this one, Toy Bay or whatever it was. I knew it had Toy in the title somewhere. Chicka bam and we're on our way. Okay, and we've emerged at the opposite side of this lovely portal. Brilliant, I'm in the Toy Bay system, like it says there. And it says, reach planet Hanslow to proceed. Right, let's, let's do that then. Oh, I do love this new runner ship. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, right, let's jump in then. Let's uh, fly on out. Now, uh, We're looking for that planet in question. So where are you, planet? Are you it? Nope. Okay. How about you, mate? You it? Hanslow, there we go. We're on our way there, people. I see you down at the planet's surface. It's the red and green planet. I guess it is. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fine-tune where I'm going to land. I want to land somewhere near to the coastline because I want to scan all the critters in the oceans and also everything that's on land. So I'm going to be heading down to this sort of beachy area. And as you're flying down, you're going to find that there's a nested islands and things like that. I'm just going to put my ship somewhere amongst all these nested islands. So hopefully I can get a good swathe of the underwater fauna and flora and everything else that can be scanned in the Z waters. We'll land here, I think, people. Lovely jubbly. Kaboom! Let's jump on out and let's start the scanning. Done. Lovely. You can scan the hazardous flora as well, people. That counts. We'll scan some birdies. And look at that. It says that it's complete already. So if I go back over to the expedition, I didn't have to scan much to take part, to be honest. There we are. Okay. Well, I could put them in. I might as well. I mean, I'm fully upgraded anyway in my other saves, so why the fudge not? There you go. All right, so what did I actually get for doing that anyway? I got a companion egg, apparently. 900 quicksilver. And some inventory slots. Well, the Quicksilver's great, but the inventory slots I didn't need. And the Companion Egg, I honestly couldn't care less about, to be honest. Let's uh, let's see if I can hatch it anyway. Let's see what we got, shall we? Cool. Oh, he's a little punk rocker guy. Oh, he's so freaking sweet. I guess. There we are. We've done that then. Cool. All right. Are you coming in the ship with me? Come on then. Let's go. Let's go. To infinity and beyond, my little friend. Chikaboom! It's like a little green B.A. Barocus. Right, well, let's uh, jump on up into the system, then. Chikaboom! And it says there, return to the Geos, say, system. Yeah, we do it from the galactic map. All of these areas are very close together, so jumping from one to the other, is it's not going to be far, or it shouldn't be. Oh, great. Out of jump range. I lied. Okay, fine. In that case, we'll go up to the station, and hopefully I've got that system inside of my station terminus. Okay, chums, this time I'm going to use the actual teleporter terminus. It says there, Geos Ashe. Okay, brilliant. Well, we'll see if we can find that. Now, the reason why I couldn't do the jump range in the new runner ship is I haven't put in all my upgrades or anything. And I can't be asked to move them over from my other ship. Because, you know, I'm not going to be keeping this save. I am going to be you know, converting back. So here we go. Rendezvous 2. We're on our way. Right, so well, here we are at Rendezvous 2. And we're doing research, project two, optional milestone. And we only needed to scan like three things in the last one. We probably only need to scan three or four things on this one. We'll go and see if that is the case. Because I'm, I'm just sort of 
speculating at the moment, people. Let's just fly out of here then, so I get the mission marker reappear. Okay, if it doesn't reappear, I'll just go into here, hit phase two. Hit that, because I want to know which planet it is, please. Planet Spinar Kenson. Well, there we go, it's right in front of us. Okay, well, I'm going to go down by the ocean again. I'm just going to go there. Meow, and we're on our way. As we enter into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear, flying down to a nice little beachy location. And yeah, there seems to be a nice little area to land. Don't mind if I do. Now, this ship also hasn't got the launch thrusters installed, so I might run out of launch thruster fuel at some point. Wouldn't surprise me. It's very basic. I don't see the point in upgrading it in this save, because I'm going to be upgrading it in my legacy save. Let's scan this rock. Scan that little creature. Scan a hazardous flora. Scan another hazardous flora. Oh, we're done. We only need to scan three things. That's it. Sweet. Well, everyone likes a freebie. It's close to being free. It's not like I had to do much. Got some lovely triumphant music as well. We've got a Child of Helios companion egg. Now that's worth a have. 900 Quicksilver. Yes. And some more exosuit upgrades. Don't mind if I do. Right. So that Child of Helios egg. That's actually a good one. I'm going to run out of companion slots, aren't I, soon? There you go. Look, a little jellyfish. Hello, jellyfish. Yes, it's quite ravenous. I'll just gently pat him. I haven't got no creature pellet. Sorry, mate. You're going to have to find your own food. Right, oh. Well, that's that's optional quest two then done, isn't it? So, you can rock out to the music. Boom. Yeah. Heck yes. Wow. Ha. There we go. So, we've got to go to number three now. Same thing. I'm just going to jump on up to the station. So, we'll fly up here. Oh, we've got 75% on our launch thrusters. So we're still good. There's a the station right there. I'm going to go use the space station terminus, and I'm going to jump over to Rendezvous 3. See you there. Now, something to note, each of the systems in grey under their title actually says Rendezvous 5, Rendezvous 3, all that sort of stuff. So it makes it nice and easy to find these. So I'm going to be doing Rendezvous 3, but you can see there, there's Rendezvous 4. And this is just from the station list inside of this um, portal found at the space station. So here we go, Rendezvous 3, and away we go. Okay, so we're looking for Planet Haku. Planet Haku inside of this system. I guess. But it's the last one I get to. Oops. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> it's going to be the last one, I bet you. Genetic. And is it? It's, it's probably hiding behind the space station as well. Okay, are you it? Go on. No, do not. All right, fine. It's hiding behind this big planet then. Right, let's go this way. Story of my life, people. Does No Man's Sky troll you in the same way that it trolls me? Look, there, the last one I got to, hiding behind another planet. It's always, always the case. If it's not that, then it's the planet that's right in front of me. It, it's either or. It's never anything in between. Okay, I wasn't overly fast where I landed on this planet, because you've only got to scan, like, three things, and then it pops. But I, by chance, I just landed by water. You know, that wasn't happen chance. That was just chance. Okay, skaboom. Okay, we've got one scanned. I'm going to scan that as well. Scan a bush, maybe. That's three things. Scanned. Has that done it? Hmm. Okay, we're still going then. No, oh, it's what? Yeah, only three things. There we go. Done. Triumphant music for scanning three things. I love it. Okay, there we go. Hungering Worm Companion Egg. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'd have those are slots. Thank you very much. Okay, well, um, I'm probably, at this point, going to have to expand my slottage on here, aren't I? Oh, no, I've got five slots anyway. That's all right. I haven't got 10,000 nanites, so... Okay, cool. Well, uh, let's go into the old... Ah, oh, wrong menus. There we go. Let's let's hatch the hungering companion egg then. Now, I have heard that there's a bit of a problem with transferring the eggs from these optional milestones at the end of your actual expedition. 
apparently it doesn't let you put them in to the uh, transferring over mechanism. Don't know whether that's true or whether it's not. But I've got all these on my other save anyway. So for me, I can just hatch them and showcase them. But yeah, you might want to look for other sorts of tutorials on how to get these eggs over. Or see if they do go over. I'll tell you what, if I get given another egg, rather than hatch it and showcase it, I won't hatch it and I'll try and put it in the machine and transfer it over once all these optional milestones end. Which is something to note, people. In Phase 5, this, this one is still going. It's not quite there yet. It's not quite finished, people. Look, it's only at 58% on Phase 5. So I'm going to do Phase 4, but Phase 5, we're not quite there as yet, people. So that one's still going. So I'd probably do that one separate. And I'll probably then end off the expedition and do Phase 5 and then transferring as a separate episode. So this will be the last one we do now. So we've got to go to the Davor Jail system. And we were just at the station terminus earlier and I showed you that it was listed there. So I'm just going to see you in that system as we're looking for the planet. Okay, we're well looking at that text down there, people. You can see there, I've got to find planet New Wadhabi. New planet, New Wadhabi. Okay, go, let's fly now. Let's see if we can find that planet. Is it the one right in front of me? No, it's not. Here we go. Let's see if it's the last one I come across again this time. Dwindy. Okay, you're on this way. How about you? Are you it? Nope. It's going to be the last one again, isn't it? I'm rotating the opposite way this time to see if it if it makes a difference. Nope. Oh, my days. What about you? You it? Yeah. And I think that... Oh, no. We had one more to go. It was the second to last. All right. Okay, cool. But it, 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 it feels that way, doesn't it? It's either the first or the last. It's very much... Yeah. It was close, wasn't it? Story of my life. Right, just to save a little bit of launch thrust of fuel in my new ship, I'm just going to land here. Now, the nice thing about this base is it's got everything you need to make the explosives for the expedition. In fact, if you do go to the station terminus and hit up bases, you can find ones that have got nip nip for the contraband. You can find the ones for the different plants to make your explosives. There's a lot of useful bases that have been constructed inside of these systems, I guess. Anyway, let's get the few things. What the heck has happened to these trees? They look like mush. What the flying fudge is happening to my... Look. That is very poorly rendered, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, let's just scan this. I have seen a couple of videos out there to say that there's a lot of bugs inside of No Man's Sky at the moment when it comes to rendering. And I've seen it with my own eye peepers, people. Look at that. It looks like a freaking Dali picture or something. It's also like liquidy and melty. Oh, like a Beatles freaking music video. Right, okay, here we go. Let's uh, grab that then. So this time we've got the Sentinel Quad companion egg. I'll keep this one inside my inventory. The Sentinel Quad is basically the little Sentinel dog that fires lasers out of its freaking face that no one likes anyway. Coolio. And, to be fair, my one inside of my legacy safe is broken. I can't ride it. It's too small. I, I got it at the wrong time. So this one, I do want to actually put over to my other save. So yeah, that's a good little test one, that one. An extra 900 Quicksilver. Freaking lovely. Not that it's coming over with me to my other save. Or is it? Because at the end of the whole thing, you know, after you've done all of this, you get a scorecard and it actually transfers over loads of stuff. Nanites, Quicksilver, all sorts. I can't wait to see my scorecard. Right, anyway. We're going to go to the fifth rendezvous planet and I'm going to actually put boots on the ground on the last rendezvous planet and I'm going to start scanning stuff to add to the actual community progress. And I'm going to go to town. I'm going to scan a lot more than three items anyway. And then we're just going to wait for it to pop because if I've already done my bit, hopefully everything's going to be fine. I can't find the poxy station. Where's the station gone? Anyway. I'll see you over there, people, once I've located this. Is it hiding behind the Nexus? It probably is. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll see you down on Rendezvous 5. Okay, so the planet that we're heading to this time, it was just on the screen a couple of seconds ago, and then it freaking vanished as soon as I press record. Because it would, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. Let's select, select it again. There you go. It's Boet Prime. So we're heading to Boet Prime. Sounds like something out of... 
Transformers or something, doesn't it? Like Freemasonic Transformers. Uh, and they've got Boaz. There was two temples, two pillars outside the Temple of Solomon. One called Jay Shin, and you have one called Boaz. I don't know why, I've just got that stuff. Oh, there you go, it was the third one I came to this time. <laughs> cool, alright, fine. Well, that theory goes out the window then, doesn't it? When I'm recording, when I'm actually making a video or trying to prove a point, No Man's Sky likes to troll me the other way and say, Ha! What you just said about it's always the last planet, or it's always the first planet. That's going out the window, mate. Yeah, gonna scupper you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe what you like. <laughs> Great, just as I'm landing, Exo says, Warning. Incoming storm! So we're going to get hit by a storm in a moment, people. But what a lovely planet to finish up on. You know, if they do ever add in ship racing, this is the sort of planet that I'd like to build my ship racing track on. I would like one that's not monochrome, though. So trying to find one of these ringed planets that's not monochrome, that's probably going to become a mission for me, I think. In between the end of the Omega update and also the next update, that's probably going to be my objective. Yeah, i just got to scan one more thing. I'll scan him. There we go. That's all I really need to do on here is free. That's actually counted towards the community sort of jaunt. So now I've just got to wait for the rest of the community to do the same sort of thing. To push that progress bar up. It's now at 58% people inside of the viewers. So I'm just going to check back every other day and, and see once this is finished. And then I'm going to be doing a, a video on transferring everything from my expedition save and my scorecard. Can't wait to see that. And then passing over to my actual legacy save, which I've never done before. Slightly nervous about, to be honest, because who knows, it could go wrong. It could fluff up. If it's going to go wrong, that's when it's going to go wrong, isn't it? Now, this is the sort of thing that Hello Games wanted us to test inside of the PC Experimental, the whole transferring of stuff over. But what they didn't make clear is you can only do that if you run the expedition from the console inside of the Nexus. It's obvious freaking now we've got the patch notes, but it wasn't when we were told to test it on Experimental. I hit up the expedition from the main title screen, from the mode select screen, and obviously I couldn't do that on the testing branch. I still did report some bugs. Phase 2 was completely scuppered, so I still think it was worthwhile. Oh, that's another thing I've got to do. I've got to do a review of the Omega update. I will be doing that as well. In fact, I might as well do that while we're waiting for this to actually pop all the way to the top. But then I do want to actually see the scorecard and all that sort of stuff before I do my review. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see if it comes out before that. I've got quite a lot to say on the Omega update. I've got a lot to say on what I think it means for the rest of the year, which is going to be inside of that review. Anyway. Hopefully you look out for that one. Until then, I've got some Nightingale co content coming to my channel. And also, I'm going to be hitting up my PC save, which I've only done the Omega Expedition on. And I want to try and get my PC save as close to as my PlayStation 4 save, or 5 save, as I possibly can. My legacy save. I actually had it since PlayStation 4. Yeah, it's evolved. Anyway, until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.